Today on the channel, I count down the 10 most popular ham radio videos of 2022, so please keep watching for more. I'm Michael, KB9VBR, and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community. And today, uh, we're going to look back at my list of the top 10 ham radio videos of this past year. Well, looking back at the numbers for 2022, I published 106 videos and hosted 12 live streams this past year. That's a rate of about two a week. That's a pretty aggressive production schedule, and I'm proud of that I've been able to keep up that pace. Those videos received one and a half million views, which is over 120,000 hours of watch time. Both of those metrics were up from the previous year. But the key vet number I'm really excited about is that more uh, women viewers are finding the channel. Uh, that's right, um, amateur radio is quite a male uh, dominated field and my female demographic has grown from 2.1% of the viewers in 2021 to 2.7% in 2022. That's amazing. It may seem like a small amount, but it really is significant. And I'm going to continue to work hard in creating more inclusive content this coming year. But I couldn't do it without you. And I'm thankful for your continued support of this channel. It gives me the incentive to continue on and I'll maintain my schedule of producing high quality video content of a rate of about two a week. With that being said, let's look at the top 10 videos of this last year. These 10 videos generated 18% of the traffic on my channel, so these are some real heavy hitters. So here they are, the top 10 videos of 2022. Starting off the list with number 10 is, five clever things the FT891 can do. The Yaesu FT891 is a wildly popular transceiver for portable operation. My series on this amazing radio outlines the features and breaks down the myth that this is a difficult rig to use. Number 9. The FCC Amateur Application Fee After about two years of discussion, public comment, and delays, the FCC finally started collecting the $35 application fee for new license grants and renewals. While there has been some subtle reworking of the system since this video aired, the content is still quite valid. Number 8. Tactical VHF Radio Joe joins me in this video to talk about his ideas concerning tactical radio communication and what you should have as part of your everyday carry kit. Number seven, my HF portable kit. I get so many questions on what I use out in the field for transceiver, antenna, battery, and accessories. This video breaks down my current HF transceiver kit. Number six, how to get on the air faster. This video is my only Parks on the Air activation video that made the top 10 list. But in it, I talk about my expedited method of using a quarter wave vertical whip and radio network for super fast portable antenna deployment. Number five, five insanely great accessories. What are those little things you see me using in my Parks on the Air videos? Well, this video lists my favorite accessories that help me get on the air with a minimum of fuss. Number four, stop buying gear. As amateur radio operators, we tend to be very gear centric, but it doesn't have to be that way. I guarantee that you probably have the five things necessary for a portable ham radio operation. So what's holding you back? Number three, random wire end-fed antennas. Here's quite a bit of discussion online about end-fed half-wave antennas. While they are quite good, I really like the capabilities of the end-fed random wire. In this video, I talk about random wire antennas and show you how to easily get on the air with one. Number two, my HF portable antenna kit. Much like how people ask what I use as my HF transceiver for portable operation, they also wonder about my antenna kit. My kit has gone through some changes in the last year and this video walks you through what I take into the field for a Parks on the Air activation. Number one, the Chameleon Tactical Dipole Antenna. And the number one video of 2022 is my review of the Chameleon Tactical Dipole Antenna. Is this military style antenna right for you? How does it work? I break it all down in this no-nonsense review. So there you go, the top 10 amateur radio videos of 2022. Did your favorite make the list? Well, let me know what you think in the comments below. You can also find a playlist of these top 10 videos in the video description, so check them out in their, in their entirety. Not mentioned in this top 10 list are my Parks on the Air activation videos. 
for those, I decided to do something a little bit different. And I'm going to make a, uh, a compilation of all of that great scenery that appeared in those videos in the past year. And you'll find that video next week. But here are some of my plans for the coming year. My favorite videos to produce, of course, are the Parks on the Air activations. So expect more of those as we hit the road and I explore the intersection of ham radio and outdoor adventure. I'll continue the monthly Q&A live streams and I've got some excellent construction videos planned and a couple of fun antenna projects. And of course, the normal cast of characters will appear, Joe, Dave, and Travis for some wacky adventure. Is there a topic you'd love to see? Well, let me know and we'll add it to the list. But that's it for 2022. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your support. And here's to an excellent 2023. 73. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Support us on Patreon and help keep the mission alive. I couldn't do it without my uh, crew of patrons and I really appreciate their continued support. So thank you so much and have a great day.